Welcome to part two of our training video. This video will help you build your skills as a sales representative and give you some insight into how the sales process really works. If you're in a sales department, you may need to screw the customer. Screw is the first of many acronyms you will learn as an employee to our stores. To screw a customer, you will see them, contact them, research why they're in the store, encourage a product to meet their needs, and win them over with kindness. To keep customers coming back, we will have to exercise the screw technique with every customer that enters the store. Let's look in as our new associate, Mike, screws this customer. Hi there, my name is Mike. I'm a non-commissioned salesman. What brings you into the store today? I'm here to pick up a Chumbawamba CD. Yeah, I do have that CD for you, actually. It's right here. Uh, if you enjoy that, you may also enjoy uh, Seven Channels. Well, thanks. I'll check that out. I'm also here to pick up some rock music by Dave Matthews. Oh, if you enjoy rock music, you may also like bands like Spineshank. I trust you because you're a non-commissioned salesman. Notice that Mike has claimed to be a non-commissioned salesman. Even if you are on commission, it is okay to tell the customer that you're not, so that they trust you and spend more money. Let's look again as Mike handles the same customer, now looking for something else. I'm also looking for an iPod. Well, sir, we have lots of iPods in stock. Um, is there a certain one you're looking for, or do you have some questions regarding the players? I'm looking for the green iPod Nano. Oh, I guess, sir, here you are. Where's the cable to record stuff from the TV? Notice that the customer seems to think he knows what he's talking about. Not by asking for information, but by requesting something that doesn't exist. Mike's natural reaction would be to tell the customer to shop around for that item. But here's what should happen. Unfortunately, sir, the iPod can only download files from a computer, not from the source. And the iPod Nanos also do not play video. Well, how am I supposed to watch my TV shows? I would suggest upgrading to a video iPod for like $50 more. I trust you because you're a non-commissioned salesman. Another example of troublesome customer experience is when people come in looking for an older technology or something that's obsolete. This is the time when we get them to upgrade and attach other possible products to the sale. Here are some examples. Do you have this record in stock? No, but we have that CD in stock. Let me get that CD for you and a CD player to go along with it. Do you have this tape in stock? No, but we do have the DVD in stock. Let me get that for you, and a DVD player to go with it, along with some HDMI high definition cables. Do you have this DVD in stock? No, we don't have that, but we do have a Blu-ray copy and an HD DVD version. Let me get you those, plus a Blu-ray player and an HD DVD player to go with that. You see how Mike offered an alternative to everything that customer was looking for? That's how you resell things to people that already have them in one format, and attach new products so that they can come back and spend more money. I couldn't help but notice your lanyard. It looks like it has some important information. What does it say? All of our lanyards display information on our shopper incentive program. This is where we try and tell customers that they will be rewarded for shopping with us. Every $200 that they spend gives them $1 back in store credit. However, they will not receive their credits until they have spent over $3,000 in the store. That means by the time they're eligible to receive their incentives, they will be awarded $15 in store credit. That's all the motivation customers need to continue shopping with us. In reality, we use these retail shoppers cards to keep track of their purchases. Every time a transaction that goes through our registers nationwide is stored in a supercomputer that we call The Beast. The Beast uses the information stored in it to target advertise to customers based on how many ints are sold on certain items. I know it may seem confusing, but just know that we need to trick the customers into using those incentive cards.